what's up youtube welcome back to my youtube channel today me and my friends are going to go see halloween ends the last movie to the halloween trilogy now halloween has a lot of movies but the only ones that matter to this particular storyline or the continuity of it is the first one the 2018 one halloween kills and the Halloween ends. So those four movies are the only ones that it exist. All right, to go into further explanation of what I'm talking about, let me show you the full Halloween franchise continuity guide. First, you follow Halloween 1978 down to Halloween 2, Halloween 4, Halloween 5, and Halloween 6. Then you stop. The second continuity is Halloween 1, Halloween 2, Halloween H2O, and Halloween Resurrection. Yeah. Then, following the one we go about now is Halloween 1, Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends. Then there's a whole zombie reboot, Halloween 2007 and Halloween 2, 2009. And then Halloween 3, it's just unrelated. Anyways, I'm not wearing this to the movies. So, I am going to take another shower and get dressed into some better looking clothes because we're going to the mall. Okay, so while I'll do my hair, makeup, and put on my jewelry, I'm going to talk about slasher killers and simply who is the best. I'm going to rank them based on different things but i'm gonna do top five i'm gonna do the most popular ones which are chucky ghostface michael myers freddy krueger and jason now of course we have leatherface jigsaw um pinhead like it's a lot of them out there but i feel like those five that i named are really like pop really popular so out of those five I'm gonna rank them. Everything is going into consideration. Durability, kill count, and overall just the killings and storylines of these characters. Of course, favoritism will go into there, you know, just a little bit, cause it's my personal list. Number five for me is Jason. I honestly don't know why. I feel like a part of it is because I never really got into Jason. Of course I watched the first movie, but I never really got into it. But of course I love his character and yeah four i'm gonna have to go with freddy krueger now i dressed up as J freddy krueger last year and i had watched all six or seven of his movies and <laughs> let's just say his movies are different i have to take into consideration that uh his movies were made during like the 70s 80s so the graphics were the best back then um but overall i just felt like his movies weren't as scary as some people describe them to be they were more comedic they were more funny so i put him at four even though i enjoy his character the first movie was great i think dream warriors was good i just rank him as four going into three ghostface now I know Ghostface is kind of difficult because it's he's many different killers or she, um, so I'm basically just basing it off the first movie, which is Billy Loomis and Bruh. Shaggy. Anyways, I honestly like how that movie did that. Like it was making fun of other horror movies, but it turned into something great. I I love how it set everything up. I really love that movie. Nothing else needs to be said. Now, for two. I have to go with Chucky. Now, a lot of people get mad when I say this, that Chucky is my number two compared to the rest. But you got to think about it. Chucky kind of has it all. Even though he's a doll, which I feel like adds on to the fact that he kills people and does it at such a mass rate because he can't get caught. He cannot get caught. Like, everybody knows Michael Myers. People find out about Ghostface. Um, Jason, people know about him. But Chucky, you can't really know about him, you know? If you tell somebody that a doll is, has killed your entire family, they're going to think you're crazy. Now, but that's the smart 
thing about it. I know he's Charles Lee Ray and in this truck in this doll, but that doesn't matter. He he's a really good character. I really enjoy his movies. I watched all of them. I really enjoy the television series. And I just think that's he he got it good. At my number one, Michael Myers. I feel like Michael Myers is the foundation of this. Like everybody when you think of a slasher killer, the first people think of is Michael Myers. I, I just I, I I can't put it in other words. Like he's the foundation of this. I don't want to say he's the first, because I don't know if that's the case, but he was most certainly out there. Yeah. Yeah. But that's basically it. So coming in first place, Michael Myers. Two, Chucky. Three, Ghostface. Specifically, Billy Loomis. Four, Freddy Krueger. Five, Jason Voorhees. And that's it, y'all. That's that's all personal opinion. All right. Um, I'm gonna finish this up and then come back because my phone needs to charge at the same time. <laughs> okay, it's five o'clock and we're about to leave. This is the full fit. Let's see the little bag. All right, so yeah, see you when we get there. The Halloween decorations. Oh, these things are cute. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so I got me some five guys to eat in the food oh, court. Um, oh, yeah, that's exotic. But that's thick. Why is it? Because it's like. Why are they so long? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. this burger mm -hmm. bus. What do you rate the sandwich? 600. Oh, 600? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's in the scam. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys. <laughs> okay, so ooh, this piece of hair keeps sticking out. We're on our way to Five Below to sneak some snacks into movie theater. That's why I got my big tote bag. Period. But um, <laughs> yeah, the mall is not crowded, which is very good. So that means we can get into our seats yeah. very good. And it, a lot of people are not gonna stare at me with the stuff on, and I like that. No cute boys. <laughs> I don't know. I dress nice, so just in case my potential husband is here. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> Wait, one, two, three, four. Say hi, Bria. Hey, guys. Oh <laughs> Smuggling in snacks, man. Right, they got my purse home. actually filled up. Oh, this is crazy. Mom, 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 right? Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Hold on. This freaking piece of hair keeps sticking out. Got me looking a mess. <sighs> I dropped in. I came up. I dropped in. I came up. I went. Okay, guys, let's rate the movie. What do you rate the movie? That was trash. Oh. We should have seen Smile. Oh, what do you rate the movie? Um, I was talking throughout the entire thing. <laughs> I got an amazing commentary. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh. Great, great, great. Ah, ooh. <laughs> what do you rate the movie, guys? Uh, I'll give it a slight seven and a seven. half. Oh, okay, okay. What do you rate the movie? What do you rate the movie? Uh, I give it a. Like, uh, 
I give it an eight point five oh, out of ten. I give it a like six a seven. out of ten. Yeah. Six. Oh. Seven. I read it. I give it a seven. Seven point five. I liked it. Okay, so I'm finally home. I had a fun, 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 fun time, and I really, I really liked the movie. A lot of people and like my friends didn't really like it because it, it wasn't like Halloween Kills. This one was more focused on and spoilers ahead, so skip to the more towards the end of the video to see the outro. Um, this movie was more about how Michael Myers affected the people in the town, like how how michael myers killings affected everybody's lives even the people that weren't directly in contact with michael and it, it gave a new perspective on things that you know not just the main victims are hurt by things like this it's other people and it it was a new michael myers it they finally killed michael myers it I'm so sorry if you did not skip through the video. I just spoiled the whole movie, but come on, y'all. It was good. Go watch it. All right, so um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and yeah. <laughs>